everyone, my name is Biagio Di Simone, and I'm an Associate Solution Architect here at Aqua. Today I'm going to be talking to you about compliance checks and reporting in Aqua. Out of the box, Aqua supports compliance checks based on the CIS benchmarks for Linux, Kubernetes, and Docker hosts. Additionally, out of the box, we also support the use of custom scripts. These custom benchmarks can be run in tandem when we scan hosts. Let's get into it and see how these are added to policies and run in Aqua. Here we can start off by looking at the Assurance Policies page. We're going to want to add a policy and select Host Assurance. I can title the policy whatever I want, but I'm going to choose Compliance 2, and then select a scope to add. I'm going to have this apply to the global scope to have all hosts have this policy. Next, I'm going to add my Docker, Kubernetes, and Linux CIS benchmarks, as well as my custom compliance check. I've got a custom script that I've written here, and I'm going to add that as well. Next, we can save this policy, and it will be applied to the hosts. I can go over to the infrastructure page to then look at all of the hosts that I have. We've got one VM0, which is currently scanning, and VM1 that's finished scanning. If I open up VM1, we can then see the policies that I have applied, as well as those components, some of which are my benchmarks. To get more in-depth results about those benchmarks, I can move over to the compliance results page. Once this page loads, you can then see that we've got our Docker, Kubernetes, Linux benchmarks, as well as our custom checks. You can expand each of these to see a breakdown of exactly which tests were run and the results. And you can also see an overview here of the scores. If you're looking to see the benchmark results from multiple hosts, you can come to the CIS benchmarks page under compliance. From here, you can choose whatever benchmark you want to look at and then expand on a host. Once you expand on a host, you can then see all of the tests that were run for that host and the pass or fail result. You get more information regarding what exactly was run. And if you click the show more icon, you're gonna get a lot of information. You get an auto command, which is the command that Aqua ran. You're gonna get the result that was expected, as well as the actual result and remediation steps. This can be very helpful in an audit situation where you need to prove exactly what result you got Aqua can give you that directly here under the actual results. Additionally, if you want to check out the results of your custom compliance benchmark, you can come over to the custom checks page and expand it for the hosts. We can expand our host configuration and then take a look at the three tests that were run in that benchmark that I created. If we show more, we again can see the audit command, the expected results, as well as the actual results, and a remediation step if applicable. These custom checks can be managed under the Policies page and Assurance Policies. From the Assurance Policies page, you can manage your custom compliance checks. You can come in here and see exactly which checks you have in Aqua. You can also decide to add a new script. If you want to add a new script, you can import one here by selecting a file, adding a name and description, and then clicking Import. We give you some information regarding when your you know, custom check was uploaded as well as you can preview the script and download it again. If you want to filter the scripts, you can filter it by the type. These are all of the types that we support, Unix shell, PowerShell, Oval, YAML, and AquaBench, which is our own custom format. Okay, that's all. Now you hopefully have a better understanding of exactly which compliance checks Aqua provides out of the box from CIS, as well as Aqua's ability to implement any custom checks that you want us to run. Hopefully this has provided you with a better idea of how to implement these checks within Aqua and a good idea of the visibility that they can give you into the configuration of your environment.